So over the Easter weekend, I finally got around to implementing an application that I've been thinking of for a while now, which tries to bring state-of-the-art image classification to mobile platforms. Um, I've implemented it as an Ubuntu Touch application for now, although I'll probably port it to other platforms in the future as well. Um, it makes use of the CCV libraries, which provide a number of uh, state-of-the-art implementations of various computer vision techniques. Uh, in this case, it's making use of convolutional neural networks to classify images. Uh, it's been designed in such a way that it can make use of a number of different trained classifiers. Uh, at the moment, there's just the sample image net classification database available, uh, which features an assortment of uh, a thousand different uh, items that includes various animals and objects, uh, some bits of scenery, that sort of thing. Um, but my sort of vision is that people will be able to train their own classifiers on much more specific domains. So you might have a classifier specifically for identifying different uh, species of plant or different, uh, different birds, for example. Um, basically, anything that you can get together a big enough image database to train a classifier on, uh, you can put together something for this. So it uh, integrates with the uh, Content Hub to allow you to import images from other applications. So if I grab uh, an image from the gallery, for example, uh, I'll use an image that I took of a guitar a while back. Uh, it takes a little while to uh, classify it. This is all being done on the phone, though. It's not using any network services. So unlike something like uh, Google Goggles, it's not sending data off to Google to work out what it is on their you know, big servers and everything. It's all being done on the phone. And so it's correctly identified that that's an acoustic guitar. Um, and you can then click on the item to find out uh, a bit more about whatever it discovered. So it's just... Uh, looking it up in Wikipedia for you. Um, it can also receive uh, images from other applications, again via Content Hub. So if I close it down and start the browser, and we have a search for something a bit more specific, So let's say a Staffordshire Bull Terrier. And we'll grab an image from Google Images. So this is actually of a puppy. Uh, and we say we want to send it to Deep Vision. So it sits there classifying that, and that's just a random image from Google Images that it hasn't had the opportunity to see before. So it's nothing from its training set or anything. And it identifies it as being a Staffordshire Bull Terrier. So it, it does a reasonable job. It takes a little while to classify each object because obviously it's having to do quite a lot of work on the phone itself. Um, but I, I think it could be quite a useful application once there's more uh, specific classification databases available. So that, that's all there is to it for now. Um, but yeah, should be fun to play with, I think.